Hello, lovely people. Welcome back to Ravi's Focus Hive. And today we are in conversation with Mr. Tahir. He is an expert in sales. And today we are going to discuss and learn from him. He's the leader in his own function. And uh, now, please, Tahir, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Ravi, for inviting me on uh, your uh, YouTube channel and uh, to discuss this about the sales and uh, related uh, some uh, topics and uh, first of all thank you very much for inviting me and uh, let me just uh, clarify that i am not the expert i have actually few years of experience and uh, you know like uh, i am very keen on learning every day about the, my subject and especially sales marketing branding everything you know i uh, keep on learning learning and uh, apart from learning i keep applying it to my own business because i am uh, running my own business for the last 10 years actually just to give uh, a little my a little bit about my background uh, actually i have uh, done bsc chemistry and uh, after that i have done postgraduate diploma in business management in 99 2001 from uh, tolani institute of management studies adipur kutch okay gujarat and uh, then uh, after that i have done one year uh, of job in ahmedabad and uh, after that uh, i have moved to dubai uh, where i have spent around 9 uh, to 10 years uh, in dubai and uh, there i have uh, gained a lot of experience in the sales because uh, it was my Uh, the main experience in my sales career is from uh, dubai and after that i came back to india in uh, 2010 and from 2011 i have started my own business uh, which is of uh, like uh, pipe fitting sanitary uh, we do uh, retail and wholesale of this in uh, our uh, my hometown that is uh, dahod uh, from gujarat okay okay i have uh, uh, actually just uh, let me tell you that uh, in today's uh, business uh, you know like uh, what i if anybody ask me i would give them only one advice that you have to keep updated yourself you just cannot uh, like uh, you know uh, that uh, you have studied once and now you have to just focus on the uh, uh, you know like uh, doing the business or earning the money no it's not like that right it is uh, it is such a time that uh, there is a whole lot of information is available on the internet and uh, you know like uh, but again uh, you know we have to filter out so many things and you have to apply whatever is suitable to you okay and uh, uh, you know like uh, as i told you that uh, there will be so many things and you know, sometimes you get overwhelmed by the available information but again you have to uh, you know like you and only you are the person who can uh, you know like decide the world, what is the suitable for me in right. this uh, uh, you know time of uh, overload of information Right. so right. that's what i do you know like uh, you have to uh, when you if you are doing the job you have to achieve your target specifically you are in the sales you have to keep your boss happy you have to look after your family yes. you have to keep earning a uh, good amount of money also so uh, you like you know you have to be focused you know you have to uh, be very specific while uh, doing the job or doing the business and uh, simultaneously learning the new things which can absolutely. help you to excel in your career absolutely and at this point a couple of things that i just want to uh, take out from the introduction that you've given first okay. you being very humble uh, mm-hmm. by saying that you're not an expert in sales you've been running your business for a decade almost a decade now and yes. that that is successfully uh, which means that i mean if we want to run our business the first thing that we need to do is be able to sell and uh, if we are able to sell that's when we kind of scale up in the business so you've been doing that uh, on and on and uh, glad you've now started uh, sharing the knowledge with people so i would want to understand i mean you started learning 
I mean, you did your chemistry and then you moved into uh, business. Then you moved out of India. You came back. Then you started your own business. So how did you get the motivation to always probably it was a restart or maybe it was a linked path? Uh, maybe a little bit of insight on that. Uh, well, actually, a uh, few days back only, somebody had uh, posted uh, something uh, related to this motivation that, uh, you know, like, uh, there are so many uh, gurus and so many expert authorities are there on the motivation. But what I believe, so one thing it has, motivation is always must come from the inside, okay, from your own, uh, this thing should be there, okay. And uh, that I have written on that post that that actually motivation should come from you and you only. Okay, I mean, if you have that particular fire in your belly, then only you can excel. Okay, no external motivation is going to going to be there with you for some time only. Okay, after that you will again feel that you need some motivation. So what I what I suggest. For those who are, who are here to you know on your YouTube channel, that you should have some purpose kind of thing, you know, like why I am doing this particular job, and that purpose should be you know larger than earning a money. Like why you are doing uh, this particular job, why you are you know uh, in this particular company only. What is your motivation? Like why why you are uh, you know doing sales job only? Maybe you okay you are you are there to earn the money. But again, you must have something, you know, bigger than that. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. And if you are able to find out that particular thing, nobody uh, can stop you. Okay. Amazing. Amazing. That, is, I mean, that is the main thing. That is the main thing. The purpose, the purpose behind uh, your doing whatever you are doing in, in the life, in the business, in the job, that should be, you know, that uh, purpose should, uh, you know, like it should be. Uh, give you the motivation not the external motivation so what i believe that i had the uh, you know some purpose in my life when i have uh, as i told you that you also pointed out that uh, after doing uh, bachelor of science in chemistry i moved to in uh, you know pgdbm but i had uh, something in my mind when i did uh, you know postgraduate diploma in business because I was always uh, from the beginning, I was interested in doing the business and then, uh, you know, learning about the commerce and everything. So that, uh, you know, thing moved me to the postgraduate diploma in businessman. Then after that, I, after, uh, you know, I could not find uh, here in uh, India some good opportunities. Okay. So through contacts, I moved to Dubai. And uh, after that, I, uh, you know, uh, first one or two years, I struggled a lot. And after that, uh, when you know, like, uh, but I have learned a lot in Dubai also. Okay, like uh, I was doing, uh, you know, outdoor sales, and we have to go and find out uh, all the client because I was doing, uh, I was doing their uh, job in, uh, you know, fastener companies, two fastener companies in a span of nine years. I have done job in two companies. Uh, both uh, uh, were uh, related uh, to each other. I mean, both in the same industry, you can say. Right. So, like you know, our boss had uh, uh, had uh, taught us a lot. You know, from him we have learned a lot. Actually, he was always always uh, you know like teaching us every day new new things. So, uh, you know, like uh, from every struggle, if you are ready to learn, it will not look to you as a struggle you know that is the main that is the main thing i always kept in my mind that from every every uh, you know like you in your questions also you ask me like like now we are facing this pandemic but in this pandemic also we have to find out is there any opportunity we can you know like uh, we we can spot them? is there any anything we can uh, uh, we can find out which can help us to move further in our career or in our life so that's what actually you need that kind of you know internal motivation it will help you a lot rather than external motivation 
so Amazing. this is this is my this is my journey and from after leaving dubai also because uh, you know due to some problem i could not uh, stay there because i wanted to stay there but due to some problem i i came back here in india uh, in 2010 in in one one and a half year i settled here i have taken my business uh, actually but in 2016 there was a the demonetization after that also we have little we have struggled a little bit and now again that uh, this uh, corona virus this pandemic has come but i'll i'll tell you very frankly from the uh, you know in 2020 21 we have uh, achieved a higher sell than the 2019-20 okay wow. so <laughs> so this is so th- this is the you know thing you know like if you have some something in your uh, uh, in your uh, this thing you know if you have a greater purpose you know not just uh, earning the money not just uh, you know building a career in the sales but something uh, you know which should be uh, keep you uh, you know keep you pushing uh, higher and higher you know which you <laughs> keep you pushing you know out of your comfort zone that is the main thing you should require so i mean i mean you're 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 sharing such amazing ideas and and f- suggestions for all of us i mean this video alone can be an amazing motivation for a lot of people thank there you very points, much there's the amazing points that you're covering i mean i know a couple of days back i was uh, I, I responded to a social media update about 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 motivation where somebody uh, said motivation is not great and rightly so because as long as you see from outside it's always a push and that's not mm-hmm. great but yes. what you what you are explaining motivation has to be from within and yes, that's yes. the best motivation and that kind of gets you mm-hmm. and a lot of people don't get it as to how to achieve that mo- that phase right to get the internal motivation and you kind of laid it out you figure out your purpose mm-hmm. the moment you find your why yes purpose, exactly you are exactly. motivated and yes. i mean that's that's a powerful statement that you've made and then you've also suggested that all the adversities and i congratulate you that your sales have gone up that's amazing and that's again proves that you're a master of the trade so i mean <laughs> adversity always teaches us something and and yes. as some, one of the great leaders talks that adversity is a phase which brings out our qualities the real yes. qualities that we have yes and uh, i'm i'm blessed to have this conversation with you this is amazing thank you sir i mean thank please you, keep going <laughs> okay 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 no problem yes yeah and i was uh, reading the document you've shared with me mm-hmm. and there was some there was a very unique concept that you've shared which is called recency but that concept of recency in and you've kind of put it in sales and how to use that uh, you want to share a little bit about that recency is uh, like nothing but you have to keep uh, you know in touch with your customer regularly nowadays as i told you that we are loaded with a uh, huge amount of information and uh, you know customers are bombarded with uh, hundreds of many maybe thousands of message now the only thing is that uh, uh, you have to be in touch with uh, your customers regularly like and particularly if you are uh, dealing in uh, b2b or any uh, kind of uh, field where uh, you know like uh, uh, deal may be very complex okay so what you have to do is you you just cannot uh, give them like uh, you know one one time flat discount and you can grab a deal okay so uh, you have to give them a regular update about your uh, product how that product is going to solve their problem okay nowadays uh, you know everybody you know like sales is not like you know previously that we saw them uh, the our, our customer that these are the features and these are the benefits no okay everybody because uh, industry and uh, technology has advanced so much that everybody can copy anything and particularly in manufacturing okay so you cannot compete on the features and benefits alone so what you have to do you have to like uh, you know find out specific proficiency is nothing but staying at the top of 
top of the mind top of your top of the mind in your customers okay right okay you you should always be in the top of your uh, customers mind you're getting my point okay like whenever they have whenever they face a problem related to your uh, product or something like that they should remember you okay like as uh, i just want to give you uh, one example from my uh, field let like we are the, doing the business of uh, uh, supplying sanitary pipe fittings and uh, water taps so like uh, you know uh we are uh, known for the services okay the after sale services when whenever and i promise my customer that you just don't do anything just call me once okay i give them my number and if they call me uh, they call any time and if they face a problem let it water tap or something like that i just uh, you know assign one person within one hour to two hour maximum or i just uh, give them guarantee that your problem will be solved within a 24 hour max to max okay wow. so now you know like the, this type of you know those customers who don't get the service from other uh, supplier they will always remember me that this True. guy is going to uh, send the person within one hour to our max to max 24 hour he's going to solve the problem right so if he faces any problem related to my product or services he will uh, call me only okay kuch bhi bathroom se related kuch bhi problem hota hai kuch bhi pipe fitting se related kuch problem hota hai they will always remember ta hai they will always remember raj pipe and sanitary is there hamara problem tum udar solve ho hi jayega dusre ke dusre ke paas jane ki zarurat nahi hai amazing okay amazing. so this type of this this type of uh, you know awareness should be there about yourself in your customers mind okay right so this is called the you know like a recent a recent effect and this will be possible only if you stay in contact with your customer regularly you stay in touch with your customer regularly it's not that like abhi kuch jaise 6 8 mahina ho gaya hai aur aap uske sath contact mein nahi hai so you have to you know like you have to maybe whatever tools you use maybe it's email it's sms it's call whatever it is you have to keep in contact with your customer so they will they will they will remember you and they will recall you when they have any problem when they need your product or services amazing and this is the differentiation right i mean when you are in your customers mind aapne pehle bhi bataya jaise ki copy to log kar lete hain product ke liye i mean people can copy and you cannot really kind of fight that battle but how do you differentiate yourself from others so recency plays a very important vital role there right you be in their mind all the time and for the good reasons and yes. uh, and and one important thing that you've said is you always set the expectation आप हमेशा बोलते हो कि मैं एक घंटे में चार घंटे में चौबीस घंटे में आपको सर्विस मिलेगी एंड दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर एनी वन आई मीन इफ इवन इफ आई कॉल एयरटेल और टाटा स्काई और एनी बडी दे माइट सेंड मी अ मैसेज दैट सेवेंटी टू आवर्स योर प्रॉब्लम विल सॉल्व दैट्स टू लॉन्ग फॉर टू डेज वर्ल्ड नाउ वॉट योर गिविंग इज high high sla if i have to say which is amazing and uh, obviously people jaisa ki problem area hai bathrooms ka and this high speed of uh, resolution is definitely amazing and obviously will set you apart so yeah that's that's super amazing i mean as we are going through the discussion i am loving it every bit thank you so much I, for I, share, sharing all these insights okay okay i just wanted to tell you one thing that in uh, in our field only दूसरी कंपनियां जो है जो स्टैंडर्ड कंपनियां है जैसे एशियन पेंट्स वगैरह है वो भी मिनिमम 48 एट आवर्स का टाइम देती है कि भाई मिनिमम आपको 48 एट आवर्स तो लगेगा ही फिर हमें 48 एट आवर्स में जैसे अगर स्टैंडर्ड कंपनी हो जिसकी सर्विस अच्छी है वो तो आ जाते हैं नहीं तो फिर कुछ तो बेचारे आते हैं हमारे पास देखते अरे ताहिर भाई हमारे तो ये ये प्रॉब्लम में आप कुछ करवा दो कुछ करवा दो जो हमारे से हो सकता है दोज हु नॉट परचेज फ्रॉम अस आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट देम ओके देन वी विल ट्राई टू हेल्प एज मच एज वी कैन यू नो बट दोज थिंग्स दैट दैट इज नॉट इन आवर हैंड वी वी कैन नॉट डू एनीथिंग व्हाट वी व्हाटएवर वी कुड डू फ्रॉम आवर साइड वी विल डू इट just i am giving you an example that you know sometimes you know this in our field in our field after sales service is very very important okay so 
apart from this uh, you know product features and benefit this is the only area where we can compete so my advice to all the you know uh, budding sales guys is that you have to play where you know other people are not playing okay you cannot compete with the giants in their own tough okay you have to compete with them in in area where you are strong okay yeah. and where they are weak understand my point yes so this is the very important thing now that that only you can understand if you if you go in the market if you 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 study the customers what exactly they the problem they are facing because since i am the one who is facing the customer directly i know what are their problem i know what they are facing and we uh, since this is the you know the product we cannot live without it the water is the one where like kisi ko bhi acha nahi lagta hai ki bhai apne ghar mein ek thoda sa bhi tap thoda sa bhi leakage hota hai kyunki hamari jo culture hai usme ye apsagun mana jata hai wo aapko bhi pata hai theek hai ek thoda sa bhi ke jo bade log hote hain wo bolte rehte hai bhai ye isko leak leak ho raha hai isko theek karwao acha nahi hai hamare liye theek hai in every culture even though i mean apart from culture also we should not waste the water that you know it okay koshish the hamare paas jo complaint aati hai usko jitna jaldi ho sake usko itna jaldi solve karo that that is the uh, you know the area where we you know compete with other that's amazing that's amazing sir so you've also talked about expanding right uh so wo mere dimag mein ye chalta hai jaise ki if i get a customer इन अ कंपनी लेट्स से मेरे को एक कस्टमर मिल गया वो एक पर्टिकुलर डिपार्टमेंट में एंड देन आई एम केटरिंग टू देयर नीड्स मे बी आई एम केटरिंग टू अ डिपार्टमेंट नीड हाउ डू आई एक्सपेंड हाउ डू आई रीच आउट टू द अदर डिपार्टमेंट हेड शुड आई जस्ट आस्क दिस कस्टमर और आर देयर अदर अपॉर्चुनिटीज दैट आई कैन काइंड ऑफ लुक एट इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन योर प्रोडक्ट एब्सोल्युटली मिस्टर रवि लाइक अभी आप जैसे अभी एक डिपार्टमेंट है जैसे अभी कोई आईटी का डिपार्टमेंट है अगर आपका प्रोडक्ट है ऐसा कोई को दूसरा डिपार्टमेंट को यूज यूज हो सकता है तो ऑब्वियसली यू कैन व्हाट यू कैन डू इज दैट इफ यू हैव सोल्ड टू वन डिपार्टमेंट गेट अ रेफरेंस फ्रॉम दैट डिपार्टमेंट दैट दिस पीपल आर ऑलरेडी यूजिंग अवर प्रोडक्ट why don't you suggest uh, you know this uh, particular product is uh, beneficial to this particular department why don't uh, they give you know your uh, name to their that other department they should uh, buy your product only so like it depends product to on product to product and service is what you are providing uh, we can always uh, otherwise what i i would rather do is that uh, i will try to contact as many department as possible in one company if my product is useful for other department also why why don't uh, you know we go to the all the department simultaneously and give the presentation to all the departments possible if it is possible because see company is going to give uh, the money from one department that is finance department only true, true. and if uh, if suppose if you, if your product is useful for the three or four departments in one company just give them the quotation for the three or four department what is the what is then how you can uh, you know like uh, give them uh, some more benefits maybe uh, you know financial benefit or some discount or something like that and how you can uh, you know your product is going to be useful for them or in all the department maybe you can uh, you know discuss with uh, your customer and that will be very good uh, if you go simultaneously with the, all the departments together you know right right now it's in this there, there is a concept of building relation so that the customer that you're working with becomes your uh, so loyal that he becomes your sponsor mm-hmm. and that's when you kind of use him or her Mm-hmm. to expand within that yes. and that's pretty much you explained here so that's an- another great advice for anyone who is into b2b uh, marketing or b2b sales right i mean mm-hmm. that's that's beautiful now you you spoke about adversity and then we also uh, you also shared that your sales went up and uh, learning from adversity is what is keeping us going and achieving these great uh, goals and targets that we have so is that one single suggestion that you have for everybody that whenever you're hit with adversity whenever you have problems mm-hmm. think and look at it and 
in a positive way to learn from it mm-hmm. as to what we could have done better or what can be done better to maybe overcome this mm-hmm. or you have anything uh, more to suggest us see what i would uh, you know rather uh, give you uh, as a suggestion is that like every adverti- adversity has a some learning behind it now only we have to forget about is that we face a some problem you know in our life or in our uh, career or whatever it is what we have to keep in mind that what i have learned from this okay and how i can avoid this type of if suppose if uh, you have done some mistake or something like that then you you fi- found out that uh, in this particular uh, after doing this particular thing i have i could not achieve the result uh, the result which i you know i wanted to achieve so you have to forget that thing okay and you have to look in the future that is the only thing and in adversity what what you can do you can just keep hustling you have to you have to keep hustle you know like you have to you 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 cannot just uh, uh, stop and uh, wait for some other new thing you know like you have to uh, you, you have to be very very strong from the inside okay yep. and that is the only thing which can push you yep. and i i explain in the in the beginning only yes. that will come from the inside only okay wow. and that will only uh, keep you motivated nothing no one uh, neither from your family neither from your friend nobody it's only you and only you can do it okay nobody is going to help you in out help you there in particular things right. yeah now i have two final uh, points that i just want to discuss with you and and that should be it for me now number one is i see you've uh, you constantly continue to share a lot of sales ideas and uh, tips and tricks to people through linkedin okay and you've also shared something about journaling and maintaining that so mm-hmm. what makes you do that i mean what makes you come on social media and then share your uh, hard learned you you put an effort to learn all this and then you're sharing it freely what makes you do that <laughs> well actually uh, as you told me that uh, you know like uh, uh, i have seen uh, so many people uh, on uh, you know linkedin the, that uh, they come and discuss so many so many good uh, things also then there are people also that uh, where you know just uh, they are putting uh, you know post of something which is uh, i don't find it uh, uh, you know i'm i i cannot say it is not very much useful but i i i, I think that i could have put something better than this yes so so you know at keeping that thing in mind i started posting about uh, this type of uh, sales and marketing related things at least one one and a half years back and uh, i have seen that uh, if you just uh, you know tag some good uh, uh connection in your particular uh, uh you know this post then you will get a lot of views and uh, you know like but again the, that particular post should be also i mean uh, you know like useful also i mean you should come out with the natural thing i uh, i don't like just uh, you know copying uh, co- uh, copied material from uh, other uh, you know social media platform or other things you know or if you at least copy uh, you know others idea idea just put it in your context how you know it would have looked if you have applied to your field if you have applied in your business so i try to you know just uh, uh, take that particular idea and put it in you know uh, my context be it a sales uh, be it from sales be it from marketing or whatever it is so you know like uh, you they you would have seen that uh, last uh, post also i have put that uh, you know uh, like sales people also you know can come up uh, with uh, you know like uh, journaling also you know they should yes. uh, uh, they should uh, test uh, everything what they are trying with uh, you know their customer they should put in that journal and uh, they should keep it it in uh, in journal that what after using which strategy uh, how much type of result they have get uh, they i mean they could achieve 
and uh, whether that particular strategy will be useful in the future or not you know and which type of customer uh, which type of strategy is suitable to which type of customer all they can you know they can do that sir and you can uh, you know like uh, fine tune your strategy according to that but again it requires a lot of passion you cannot just uh, do this uh, within uh, 10 15 days you have to keep keep it doing for at least one one and half year then only you will come to know like which strategy work out for the which customer correct so what i mean to say that uh, there is so much of uh, knowledge is there so much of information is available in on the internet freely freely i am talking about freely i am not talking about paid information mm-hmm. but the only thing is that you have to uh, capture the information you have to digest it and then you have to put it in your context and then you have to share it to your with your connection with your followers whosoever, whosoever they are and if you could do it successfully it's very well, well and good amazing yep makes makes total sense and uh, just to share a couple of days back there was a group discussion going on on linkedin mm-hmm. and somebody shared that the purpose of what what he used to do i mean on or what he is doing currently i mean very simple idea of curating the newspaper headlines mm-hmm. and and just sharing it through the whatsapp groups so what what this person does is he kind of curates all the top headlines uh, avoiding all the politic gimmicks but the real headlines puts it in a whatsapp message and shares it to his contact and i was like surprised to see that there are so many things people can do Mm-hmm. which adds value i mean yes yes there are so slowly we are losing that newspaper and with covid and all since last one year we've not even got the newspaper right. and now we have moved into this e newspaper so that one idea of of someone doing that it struck and it was like i was surprised and amazed at the same time so mm-hmm. glad and i'm really thankful that uh, you are sharing your learnings and i'm a big follower i do myself i mean i also have this channel and that's where i do most of these uh, discussions and sharing i'm i'm really glad that i reached out to you uh, and so happy that we had this discussion uh, as i said earlier i'm honored to have you on this discussion and i'm i'm going to connect again and we i i, I think i'm going to have more videos with you. i'm 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 really happy that you considered me as a, you know like a participant in your youtube channel i didn't even uh, think that somebody will invite me for the youtube <laughs> believe me <laughs> i didn't even think that in, in my dream world so that somebody will invite me and you are telling me i'm expert see i'm not the expert only thing i am doing doing is just my you know whatever i have learned and whatever i have experienced i'm just putting it so other people can benefit okay as i, I told I'll you that you. everything we you know we, we we are here to add the value you have you have come with a very good point adding the value is the main thing okay Absolutely. in sales whatever you are doing whatever uh, you know each and every interaction with your customer add the value that yes. is a very very a very important thing okay if you are adding a value and if your customer can recognize that you are adding the value he will never leave you okay True. he will never leave you and the main thing is that he should recognize that you are giving him the value okay not your competitor correct, correct. that is a very very important thing so uh, uh, uh like uh, you said that value addition is the very important thing and that's the whole reason why i connected with you and i i also follow you on linkedin is when i saw your content and the videos mm-hmm. it's raw right it's it's the real stuff there is as you also said there is so much of information available on the web yes. but there is too much of noise in the sense yes, there's too much of marketing too much of gimmick uh they'll just use fancy words and and make it sound like world changing mm-hmm. but when you really look into it and waste your time you get nothing out of it but when you spend time watching some of your videos or some of the great creators that i have uh, got the honor to connect with you go to their video and look at their content you realize that there is no nothing fancy about it there's no marketing in it but it's the real stuff and that's the whole agenda that even i have to share content which has value for sure. people to learn and seek from it and then probably utilize and in some exactly. way or form it helps them yes yes 
awesome with that uh, tahir ji i am very thankful for you to join us today uh, thank you very said, much for inviting me also <laughs> amazing and as i said i will reach out to you for more sure. calls and, i'll be uh, ready to help you every awesome. time whenever you ask awesome. me awesome thank you so much <laughs> thank you with sir. that sir have a great evening same to you sir thank you take care bye bye okay bye